How are you, my friends? Let's continue here the algebra course lectures. Now we are in lecture 17. This is a continuation of lecture 16. They are related. Lecture 17 now is power equations. Still in the simple basic equations. Later, we are going to take more and more and higher equations. So let's see the power equation. Power equation, something that has a power, x to the power n is equal to a number a. Now when you have x to the power n is equal to a, this n can be odd or even. If the number is odd, three, five, whatever, so x will be nth root of the a, and if n is even, a must be positive, so it will be plus or minus the nth root of a. We will see many examples. Now, if just a remark here, if n is even and there is a number inside is negative, then it has no real solution because we cannot have here a minus with this one n even. So just a remark here. Now, let's take two simple examples before the other examples. x cubed is equal to number x squared is equal to number. See, this is x power n. These are very simple power equations. Later in the course, this is an algebra course. Later, we are going to see more and more complicated equations. Now, since x cubed here, oh, let's just quickly, just my, my finger hit enter here. x cubed is equal to 27. So cubed is the, uh, three is the cubed. Uh, the cube root of 27 is 3 because n is odd. x squared 25, we say plus or minus the square root of 25. The square root of 25 by itself is 5, but n is even, so the answer plus or minus 5. Be careful about this. Let's see now more examples. I start with simple, medium, maybe difficult. Yes. 1, 2, 3. I think simple, medium, difficult. Let's go. First one. I will try the first one, okay? Yeah, I'll try the first one x plus 7 squared is equal to 25. See, we notice here n2. You see 2? Even. That means we take the square root of both sides. We say x plus 7. This is plus or minus square root of 25. So take 7 on the other side. Minus 7 plus or minus 5. So I take minus 7 plus 5 minus 7 minus 5. So the solution minus 2 minus 12. Clear. Now, I did the first one for you. That's a gift. Try this, x minus three squared is equal to six. That's a medium one, and this is more difficult. Let's see the second one. You tried? Okay, let's go. This one, x minus three squared is equal to six. Notice here that n is two. So we take the square root of both sides, x minus three plus or minus square root of six. So take minus three on the other side becomes three. See, two answers. See, what is the difference between number two and number one? Number one, I will show you here. Number one, square root of 25, we can, we can simplify. We simplify. Square root of 25, square root of 16, even square root of 12, you can make it four times three, so two square root of three, or square root of eight, two times square root of two. Square root of six, we cannot simplify, so we leave it. So it will be three plus square root of six, 3 minus square root of 6. That's a medium question. You want to try the last one, please? So nice, number 3. x minus 4 to the power 2 over 3 is equal to 16. I've given this to many, many students. Maybe 20% will get it correct. Try. Okay, ready? Let's go. Let's go. Did you get... These solutions, I think you get one of them. Some of you, they get one of them. Now, x minus four to the power two over three. The first thing you have to look at is the power two. You see the power two here. x minus four, power two, all divided by three. So we see I have a power two squared, we expect two solutions. So let's cube both sides to remove this three. So make all this side cube. Why cube? Because we have 2 over 3. If we have 2 over 5, we raise this to power 5, to power 5 each. 
So now we become this one, x minus four squared. You see when you put cube, cube, 16 cube. X minus four squared is equal to 16 cube. The important is this number here too. That's the important number in the question. Not four, not 16, not the three. Two here, you see this two? The most important number in the question. So we have now squared because the power, see this power here on the X. Two is the power on the X. So we have squared. Now we take square root of both sides. X minus four plus or minus all power half, you know, like square root. See, this is like 25. Suppose 16 cubed is 25. See, 16 cubed is not easy number, but just imagine it, it is 25 or 10. So we have to play now with the power. 16, you see, four squared. And then I can switch the power here because three is, is three is a power, half is a power. So I can take half to three and then four squared from the 16. I will show you how, why I do this. Two times half is one. So I left with this four cubed. Take four on the other side. So now we have four plus or minus four cubed. So either we have four plus 64 or four minus 64. This one will be 68 and minus 60. Two not easy solutions. Two not easy solutions. Please check this one later. Now try at home. We have three nice questions here to try at home. As I told you before, try at home questions, extra questions and practice questions. Full solution you can find on the uh, power equation, additional solved question. Let's move now to a nice idea in simple equations. We have equations here. They have more than one variable, like I equals PRT, A minus P, all this X, Y, Z, maybe two, three, four, five variables. So we take a specified variable and we ask for, for it. Let's see here, I equals PRT, solve for T. Here we have A minus P, P equals RT. PRT is solve for P or solve for T, whatever. We can just pick, pick a variable out. Let's see, the first one is easy, very easy, the first one. I equals PRT, solve for T. So I need T, so P and R, we deal with them as constants. So T equals I over PR, that's it, that's T. Now remember when we say solve for T, T will be on one side, everything will be on the other side. No T on the other side. Now solve for P, look here, A minus P is equal PRT. See I have here P and P. So I take this P on the other side, on the right here, then I take a common factor that's a little trick. Many students will not be able to do it. So A, P plus P, R, T. Take P common in the bracket one plus R, T. Now divide by this one plus R, T. So P by itself, you see P by itself. No P on the right side. A divided by one plus R, T. These are two examples, easy. Now the first one is very easy. Second one is medium maybe we can see more and more higher examples. Let's see example seven, A and B. Solve for specified variable. We have F equals here, nine over five, C plus three. This is the temperature, Fahrenheit and Celsius. Solve for C, okay, we'll do that. Here we have X and M and N. See, I have three variables, X. I can say solve for N, I can say solve for M, I can say solve for X. So I will do this question solve for X, but at home, you can take the same equation here in B. Solve for M, solve for N. You can practice by yourself. Okay, so let's take the first one. C, take 32 on the other side. So F minus 32 is equal nine over five C. See, multiply by five. See all this, five minus 32, multiply by five equal 9c. Then divide by 9. So we have 5 over 9 in the bracket 5f Fahrenheit minus 32. This is capital C. 
it's a good idea here, please, for a minute. Try here the B, B part to this bracket, this bracket, solve for X. See, which means I will explain again and again, leave X on one side, on the left, leave X. So X equals something. This something should not contain any X. Only uh, M's or N's or numbers or fractions, but no X. Now, let's see. Now we have two, let's distribute here the two. For sure we have to do that. 6X minus 10M, and there is a 7N. Be careful about the numbers. Now, what do we need X? You see, solve for X. So if I need X, I put all the terms that they have X on one side. So 6X minus MX only. See here we have 10M minus 7N minus two, no X on the right side. Take X as a common, we said before in the bracket six minus M, then divide by six minus M. That is the X. Now, if you need M, it will be a different answer. If you need N, it will be a different answer. Now, nice try at home one and two. This one here, we have Y, we have K, we have X. Solve for K. Now, when you finish, solve for X. It is already Y there. Now, second one, we have M, we have N, we have D. I said here, my question here, solve for M. You can say solve for N, you can say solve for D. So this is triatome, remember? Only the answers in the next slide, final answer. The full solution with details, you can find in the power equation, additional solved questions in that playlist. Now, let's take a simple example here about word problems. The sum of, you have to read carefully, the sum of twice a number and seven is the product of one less than the number and five. Find the number. See, anytime you see a question like this, we call it word problems or essay problems or written pro problems in math. You have to read carefully, for sure that's number one. After you read carefully and understand, you try to translate into math. This is English language here. Put it in math language. See, since we say find the number, so you start directly, let X be the number or Y or whatever variable you like, X is the easiest. So neat and nice. Now let's see, let X be the number. So I will translate, that's why I put the question again here. The sum, the sum means we start here in the sum. Once I say sum, that means I have two things to sum, to add. The sum of twice a number, twice a number, two times the number, two X. What is the other part in the sum? And seven is, you see this is, always you put equal. You take the is and you put equal. Equal what? The product. See product, you put times and then you have to multiply two things for sure. The product of what? One less than the number and five. So there is a five easy. Now the other part in the product, one less than the number, one less than the number. So the number minus the one, not one minus X. So it's one, one less, suppose the number is 17. We say one less than the number, so 16, so X minus one. Now, once you translate, easy, I know it's easy. Two X plus seven, multiply by five, uh, take this on this side, see, take this on this side, take that on the other side. You can do anything you like, you get X equals four. Well, you can move two X on that side, or you can move five X on the left, you get minus, but this one becomes also minus. So at the end you will reach uh, 3x is equal to 12 positive number, x will be four. Now this is a triatome, nice question really, about rectangle. Sometimes you have word problems that have simple shapes like rectangles, squares, triangles, not too much complicated. You have to know the word, the parameter here. Maybe I will explain here. 
yeah the parameter this is the shape here try at home six full solution will be on the power equation additional solved questions so you, you make the, the the rectangle here you put the length and do it and then the parameter here i will explain the parameter is the the length of all these sides the l w l and w this is what we call parameter now we reach the practice anytime we finish a topic like like lecture 16 and 17 same topic so now 17 now we finish the topic lecture 18 in algebra course will be another topic so here we finish the topic so i put five questions practice number one three nice equations you have to try and then practice number two two equations practice number three three practice number four only one practice number five and then practice number six most of the time i put five practices very rare very rare i put practice number six then i put the solutions here final solution for practice one practice two practice three practice four practice five and this is for lectures 16 and 17 together full solution of these all questions will be in the video power point power equations actually additional solved questions Thank you for watching. If you like the video, you can share or subscribe. And then uh, just to remind you, this is lecture 17. I hope I can see you later in another lecture. Thank you very much.